You know, there are a few perks to having some goats around. My friend Susan Harper tells us why she chose to have a couple of nanny goats as pets in her backyard. Well, I've really only been in goats, as you say, a couple of years. Martha Stewart and Julia Childs are their names, and they are both uh, French Alpine goats. And I asked the guys at the local food store, a uh, feed store, if they knew of someone who had milk goats, and they hooked me up with this woman who had one goat. She was so nice, she let me come out, she taught me how to milk. I'm a pretty good milker at this stage because I've been doing it for a couple of years, so I'm pretty fast. This barn used to be the shed for storing all our yard tools, and so we just converted it. The, actually, the fencing was left over from when we had a bird dog in the backyard. We added a couple of extra panels to it and just kind of threw it together, and um, it worked out perfectly. It's about the right size for two goats. My husband built my hay feeder down there and my milking stand. It didn't cost me much to get started. Um, just buying the goats was, was the main cost. They're pretty easy and their personalities, you can see they're just like dogs. They're so tame and sweet and very curious uh, so that they'll stay. Uh oh, she just pulled the mic out. <laughs> Martha, it is a bit of a responsibility because if you want to go out of town, you have to find someone to milk for you. Way you want. I milk once a day and um, it has to be done of course every single day um, because <laughs> it's not good for the goat you know to go to more than 24 hours with a bag full of milk um, but other than that it's just basically um, clipping their feet and warming some and giving them a couple of vaccines a year and that's about it they um, Mine are, unfortunately, I've spoiled them, and so I have to drive to Hot Springs to get alfalfa hay from the racetrack people. Look at Julia, she's gonna eat. Martha will be picky. Don't you wanna eat? Which I have to do probably about every six weeks or eight weeks. And then they just get some, um, some sweet grain in the morning. Jules, come on. All right, she's in there. Anyway, I feed them in the milking stand to get them in the stand every morning and they eat while I'm milking them. That keeps them still and happy during the milking process. The quality of what you put in equals the quality of what you get out of them and um, I have such delicious milk um, I think that that is all due to the fact that they are really well loved and very well taken care of and um, that I feed them quality stuff. Gosh, it's been so much fun for me. Um, I never really knew that I would love it this much and love them so much, but you can tell they love me and we have a good time.